Hello, Pastor Joey Kennedy here with this week's Powered by Grace. Today, I want us to simply focus on the cross of Jesus, to focus on Calvary. Of course, we're headed into Palm Sunday and then Easter. And oftentimes, I'm afraid we, we kind of, we don't think about Calvary as much as the resurrection. And we should, because they work perfectly together. It was there on Calvary that the Lord Jesus took on our sin and took on His Father's wrath because of our sin. So, so much happening on the cross. and We grieve over it in one sense, and in another sense we glory in the cross and what happened there because of the result of the cross and what it means to us. Luke chapter 23 and verse, verse 33 says this, And when they came to the place that is called the skull, there they crucified him. And it goes on to talk about that. I want us this week to think about Calvary, to even get alone somewhere and just pray and think and contemplate the deep theological richness of of the cross. And then I want to share with you from a book called The Valley of Vision. This is a book of Puritan prayers, a collection of Puritan prayers, and they are so rich. And this one is called Calvary's Anthem. And as we think about the cross this week, I pray that this will be our prayer. Calvary's Anthem. Heavenly Father, Thou hast led me singing to the cross, where I fling down all my burdens and see them vanish, where, where my mountains of guilt are leveled to a plain, where my sins disappear, though they are the greatest that exist, and are more in number than the grains of fine sand. For there is power in the blood of Calvary to destroy sins more than can be counted, even by one from the choir of heaven. Thou hast given me a hillside spring that washes clear and white. And I go as a sinner to its waters, bathing without hindrance in its crystal streams. At the cross there is free forgiveness for poor and meek ones and ample blessings that last forever. The blood of the Lamb is like a great river of infinite grace, with never any diminishing of its fullness, as thirsty ones without number drink of it. O Lord, forever will thy free forgiveness live that was, gr that was gained on the mount of blood. In the midst of a world of pain, it is a subject, of a subject for praise in every place. A song on earth, an anthem in heaven, its love and virtue knowing no end. I have a longing for the world above, where multitudes sing the great song. For my soul was never created to love the dust of this earth. Though here my spiritual state is frail and poor, I shall go on singing Calvary's anthem. May I always know that a clean heart full of goodness is more beautiful than the lily, that only a clean heart can sing by night and by day, that such a heart is mine when I abide at Calvary. May that be our prayer. I pray that you all will have some time this week to, to um, that you'll make time to contemplate the cross, to contemplate Calvary, and to give God glory and praise for what took place there. And may our heart leap with joy as we think of this of, of Calvary's anthem. Amen. Father, thank you for the cross. Thank you for what took place there. Thank you for the grace that was so very abundant and, and your mercy that was so evident at the cross. May we contemplate it this week and think about it and may May our hearts be filled with gratitude and love for you. May our hearts sing of Calvary's anthem. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, you all have a great week, and we'll see you next week.